there guys, my name is Coach Chad Longstabar, bought built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update from the Alton Towers Resort. Now this is something interesting I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Obviously, Christmas Eve, thank goodness. Um, I am pre-recording some stuff uh, for Christmas Day so I don't have to spend time on Christmas Day recording anything. Um, but, basically, uh, what I wanted to talk about today is Rita's future. Now. The source where I read this from is not very reliable. It was something on Instagram where I read saying there was rumours that Rita's getting removed at some point next year. Again, not very reliable, I'm not going to trust it. However, there was something that I spotted uh, throughout this season, this, this season just gone, uh, that I wanted to direct your attention to about the, that could link to this rumour. Um, so. Basically, for those of you who need a bit, bit of background information on the ride itself, you don't know Alton Towers, and you sort of you don't know like about this ride and stuff like that. Rita, uh, which opened as Rita Queen of Speed, it opened in 2005. Um, specific date: you've got the um, the first of April 2005. It's an Intamin Accelerator roller coaster. Uh, it's got a length of 2,099.7 feet, a height of 68.8 feet, a speed of 0 0.25 seconds. So 25 second ride, that's pretty long, it's not very long. Um, now basically if you need a bit of background information, there were plans for a Cross Valley wooden coaster uh, to be installed at the park for 2005. However, those plans were shelved and Rita was installed instead because of course the wooden coaster, the Cross Valley wooden coaster, was going to be manufactured by Intamin. Now, basically, if you need the extra evidence to why I think Rita could be removed, now this is just could be, um, basically, like, like I said before, that source where I read about Rita could be removed sometime on Instagram, that's not a reliable source. But this could help back it and support it. Now, Rita, along with Nemesis, the B&M Inverted Coast that opened in March 1994 Alton Towers, uh, one of the most historic and iconic coasts in the UK, Rita and Nemesis featured as a peculiar question on guest feedback machines earlier on in the 2019 season, with the purpose of the question seemingly to be to gauge visitors' interest in the attractions. Now, could certainly speculate, this could certainly speculate that the only reason they'd be asking about two named attractions was to it was in aid to deciding an attraction's future. Now we know they're not going to get rid of Nemesis anytime soon. It is one of the most iconic coasters in the country, it's one of the most iconic coasters uh, in the park, it's the best coast or one of the best coasts in the park. Um, now the reason, a reasonable speculation as to why they chose Rita and Nemesis is because I would say they're going to be determining Rita's popularity against a Nemesis baseline. So they could be determining whether Rita's just as popular as Nemesis. Uh, now I know Nemesis gets, you know, five minute queues or under five minute queues sometimes. I know Rita gets like half an hour queues and hour queues and stuff like that. I know the queues for both rides have been pretty long this year. Um, but a low popularity score would make um, ideal ammunition for a project lead wanting to use that space for something new. So this could hint to us that if there is a low popularity with Rita against a Nemesis baseline, this could be the hint that Rita could be on its way out. Now, it's important to note, like I talked about with the Cross Valley Wooden Coaster plans, Rita was like a, a secondary option, it was a plan B because the Cross Valley Wooden Coaster plans did not work. Because of course that was going to be an Intamin wooden coaster. I think it was. I think it was going to be prefabricated track as well. I'm not too sure. That's like Colossus at Heidi Park. That's your Intamin prefabricated wooded track. Uh, but I'm not too sure about that. They haven't mentioned anything about that. But I think if they were going to build it, I think it would be prefabricated. Um, obviously, we can't talk about what is now. We've got Wicker Man for goodness sake. Um, but one big thing to mention here is that Rita. Uh, it, should, it should be noted that Rita is the resort's most expensive attraction to maintain, not to build, but maintain, by a considerable margin. Couple that with stealth having required repairs to the hydraulic system this season that caused not only a lengthy shutdown of the ride, but I would suspect had a significant cost itself. I'd assume that the question has been raised about Rita's value for money as a continuing attraction. So not only are we sort of testing the popularity of Rita, there's also a real possibility here that Rita's value for money 
could be put to the test along with what happened with Stealth mid-season this year. So that's just a couple of factors to sort of take into account. Like I said, the source where it actually talks about the rumours that Rita was being removed sometime next year, I don't trust it at all. But thinking back to the guest service machines and what was asked between Rita and Nemesis, I think there's considerable evidence here to not fully suggest, we're not going to fully, you know, expect Secret Weapon 9 to be on the site in 2022 or something, but I'd have, I would have a couple of little cogs in your brain ticking at this point, like, ooh, if the if the testing Rita against Nemesis' popularity and its value for money, you know, it, that's going to get a couple of cogs, you know, gearing up, saying, you know, ooh, you know, this could happen. This this could potent this this could potentially happen. Obviously, right now there's about a ten percent chance. Right now, based on a ru a, a rumor that could be fake on Instagram on an Instagram story and um, some guest service feedback, it could be just a survey. It could be just a survey. That's one way of looking at it. And I'm going to take that as that for now. But if it wasn't just a survey and it was actually asking for the parts feature, you got to look at Thought Park. Look at the Swarm Island when they asked about uh, hotels and things like that. Um, you know, you've got to look and you've got to think, you know, how, what would be the best option? What would be, you know, the best option for the park itself? And you've got to look at those surveys back at Thorpe Park on the Swarm Island about how they were asking about, they were asking about hotels, I believe, as well. Uh, what would you like to see here on the site in the future and things like that? So, it, it all starts from somewhere. It all starts from somewhere. Wickerman started from those rejected shelved plans for a Cross Valley Woody, and of course the flume closing coming to the end of its lifespan, uh, and of course GCI coming in with those plans uh, to build this wooden coaster, to build Wickerman. Um, and again, with Thought Park, you've got to look back and think, well, if they're already asking about it, surely in the next you know three years, four, five maximum, we should be looking at something, maybe on the Swarm Island, maybe somewhere else. We don't know. Um, with Alton Towers, you've got to think. Uh, Wicker Man sort of took construction place in 2016, sort of started in the summer of 2016, all, through, all the way through 2017, and it opened in March 2018. That's a three-year gap. Now, you've got to look, um, if Rita was to close sometime next year, that would give them the back end of 2020, 2021, and then an opening in 2022 for a Secret Weapon 9 project. Again, a three-year gap. 2022, including the year of Wickerman's opening, 2018, if you include that opening year, that is um, five years since the opening of Wickerman. I would expect the next secret weapon then, and then I, and I've said it for years, I think the secret weapon 10 will happen on the park's 50th anniversary in 2030, and it goes along with that pattern. You know, Hex in 2000, 13 in 2010, new family area in 2020, 2030, a new coaster. It's all within that pattern. It's every two anniversaries they get a coaster. Every two 10 anniversaries, decade anniversaries they get a coaster, specifically. Um, but I just, I just wanted to do this video just to sort of see if you can jog your brain to what could possibly happen here. So I want you to leave your thoughts and theories in the comments down below. Do you think Rita will be removed sometime next year? I think with those guest surveys, like we said, it could just be just a survey, just asking guests about the popularity. If Rita's popularity is still high, it won't be the case. Rita won't go. But... It's just something to jog your brains a little bit. If Rita's popularity is low compared to a Nemesis, are they going to start planning Secret Weapon 9? Is Rita's future in doubt? Now, a lot of people in the enthusiast community have said that either Rita or Spinball should go next in terms of coasters. Um, you know, I'm a massive fan of Spinball. I think it's a good family coaster. Uh, obviously, on the level of 13, it can be improved. But, in term, overall, I think it's a decent ride for families. I think it's a good, decent family coaster. Um, Rita, in terms of the level of thrill coasters, I think there are better ones. And that's me, and that's coming from me, who hates the Smiler recently. So, um, you know, Rita is a good coaster. 
but is it on the level of Nemesis popularity? And if it isn't, and it's not good value for money anymore, is this the site we're talking about for the future of, you know, the Dark Forest? You know, uh, I know a lot of people suggested they want like an Intamin Blitz or maybe something like a uh, Hagrid with some launchers, uh, but with some Dark Ride elements as well. And I think with the Dark Forest theme, I think you've got a really good creative opportunity there as well. So, again, it's just something to think about. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news from update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep it on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, friends.